left. Hi, news for those literally about to face hyperthermia this coming winter. Libraries, those that have not already been closed during austerity, are being considered as warm havens. Those suffering fuel poverty can presumably queue up in sub-zero temperatures for a few hours respite in the warmth. Will officious staff remove those who nod off? Millions will already be availing themselves of food banks, demand already skyrocketing while simultaneously donations are shrinking, creating a crisis within what has now become a normalised situation. All we need now is the likes of Rees-Mogg to announce plans for workhouses. However did we get in this state? The upper and middle classes are doing all right. They've never had it so good in this modern age. We're told by governmental boosters that we're the fifth richest nation in the world. Yet why is it that well over a third of the population will be in modern day poverty, leading eventually to pauperization presided over by a ruling class with Dickensian attitudes? We've been laying down and taking it far too long. It's about time we cease groveling before the power and allowing ourselves to become atomized in our accumulating fear and misery. We need to express ourselves in raw anger, defiant mobilizations, refuse to take any more of what's being dished and reject the entire status quo and its political parties and take to the streets with insurgent mentality. That's for starters, followed by direct action, creation of alternative power, which will lay in the revitalized hands of the working class majority. If not, we'll just sink into deserved nothingness as the ruling class prepare to devise an authoritarian counter-revolution against the revolution we failed to ignite. So far. Bye.